What's up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tune215 and we're gonna be doing a walking tour of the Whitman Park and Liberty Park neighborhood in Camden, New Jersey. This is located closer to the center area of the city, more on the south side. This is south of North Camden. And we're gonna be doing a 360 tour. If you're new to the 360 experience, you can feel free to take your mobile device Move your mobile device up, down, left, right, all around you. And or you can just swipe through the screen just to see what's around me. But it's cool if you get interactive with it and move the camera around. If the quality looks grainy and the picture doesn't look clean and clear, that's because YouTube automatically recommends the video to you in 360 pixel resolution. You can adjust it to work with your internet. You can adjust it to 480, 720, 1080, 1440, or the highest resolution, which is 4K. But make note, if you're watching in 4K, you gotta have fast internet. If not, it's gonna buffer and lag. So right now we're walking through Camden. It's a nice sunny day. It's about 70 or so degrees today. The sun is out, the ambience is live, and we out here. So as always, I don't have a real set point of destination where I'm gonna walk. I'm just gonna zigzag, walk through the blocks, try to follow the ambience some. If you're new, please turn on that notification bell, hit that subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I do another walking tour, driving tour, supermoto tour, scooter tour, bicycle tour. Stay tuned. On my left hand side, we got a Rite Aid, it has the old original Rite Aid logo branding. I know many of them updated their logo branding. We got emergency health center, virtual healthcare. Right now we're walking southbound on Mount Ephraim Ave. We're crossing Lawnsdown Ave. We're just gonna walk probably up Mount Ephraim for a couple more blocks and then we'll zigzag. Y'all gonna start seeing me shining. Y'all might see me glow soon because the sun makes me sweat so even though it's only 70 or so degrees the fact that i'm walking and that i'm moving around it's gonna make me sweat so i'm just giving y'all a heads up in case y'all start seeing me shining like i got vaseline on my face but it ain't vaseline it's just gonna be sweat <laughs> we got boyd funeral home on my left hand side on my right hand side we have a huge parking lot that goes with that healthcare center behind me Across the street, you'll see residential homes, two-story homes. We got another virtual health and wellness center right in front of me on my right-hand side. I'm gonna cross the street right here because I see some police across the street. So we're gonna cross the street on Whitman. We're gonna cross Mount Ephraim Ave. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn, crossing the street. just so we can see what those police are up to. I don't know if they're responding to a call or if they pulled someone over. We're crossing Whitman, Whitman Ave. We got a building on my left-hand side that's boarded up. We got a huge, it looks like a water tower on my left hand side that says Camden. Y'all gonna see me squinting a lot too. Cause I got implants in my eyes and the sun kind of causes like a lens refraction in my head. So bright light tends to make me squint a lot and I go like this. We're passing Everett Street, Everett. All right, we're walking up to those Camden County police vehicles on my right-hand side. We got Spanky's Tattoo Studio across the street. The police cruisers are actually empty. They're on, but they're empty. 
I guess they don't expect anybody to steal them. They never play Grand Theft Auto then because that's the number one whip people be jumping in, right? <laughs> we all be trying to get the cop whip and then we be trying to lose the police and just rock the cop whip to drive around GTA Liberty City with the cop whip. We got a clothing store on my left hand side. We got like, it's like a boutique, like a clothing spot. On my right hand side, we got Kingdom Harvest International. I'm actually quite familiar with this area. Shout out to the homie Rec, Reckless Life from Jersey. It's my homie, brother from a different mother. Him and R.O.D. Mito. I remember on other occasions when I came here in the past to visit Camden. Right around the corner, there's a school that looks very familiar. I see banners, discount, dollar heaven. I, I've, I've been around here before. This area is starting to ring some bells, so. So we're walking down like one of their main avenues, Mount Ephraim Avenue. This is a little shopping strip. A little shopping district for the locals. We got Prissy's Chick Hair Company on my left. Dollar Heaven on my right. Maytag Laundry Mat Self Service on my right. African hair braiding on my right. Several other businesses. There's a car on fire. Well, not on fire, but but it but it was on fire before. Look at this Lexus. That Lexus was on fire. Yeah, a sneaker store right here. Y'all saw that Lexus was melted. That Lexus was roasted. It was toasted. Yeah, the sun's starting to burn my skin. I ain't really into sunglasses. I'm not too much of like a sunglass wearer. Although they'd probably be helpful, but I'm not really into wearing sunglasses. Yeah, this Camden Prep. I've been to this block before. I show my homie Rec and Mito out there. We got a pharmacy on my left hand side. We got Kevin's, whatever Kevin's is. Passing Mount Ephraim Ave and Lowell. We got OK Fish. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. So we can go down the block that I chilled at before with the homie Rec and Mito. R.O.D. Mito. Yeah, I guess this is a school next to me called Camden Prep. Wonder if it's a charter school or if it's a public school. Yo, I smell some grilling, somebody grilling. Woo! Somebody grilling. I smell the charcoal. It smells strong. It's that type of weather though. It's that type of weather to grill. Perfect weather to grill. Alright, you guys can look to my right. You guys can see residential two-story homes. It looked like that school got revived, revitalized, because they got like a new addition. If you look like on one of the entrances, it looked like they brought the entrance back to life. It looked new. Hello, ladies. Hello, hello. Hey, camera. Hey, camera. <laughs> we got pure Michigan tags right here on my left-hand side. Yeah, it looks like that entrance is brand new. The building still looks original. I mean, the brickwork looks awesome. The brickwork is extremely clean. For the most part, I don't know if it's been pressure washed. Yo, anybody from Jersey who's watching, how long has this Camden Prep School been here? Has it been here for over 50 years, 100 years? It looks well kept. The windows look in good shape. Everything, even the surrounding. Like the property line looks awesome. Look, at this abandoned house right here on my right hand side. I'm gonna slow down here so y'all can check that out. There's an entrance in the basement here. If you can fit in the basement, you could probably go down there. Go in the basement. Another abandoned house. We walked by several abandoned houses. We got another abandoned house right here on my right hand side. 
And we got another abandoned house right here on my right hand side. It's all potential property that could be bought, restored, renovated, and brought back to life. We got some graffiti right here on my right. I can go left, I can go straight, I can go right. I think I'm gonna go left. I feel like I wanna go left. So we can cross back over. Henry Bonsal Annex. What's that, like a school? Henry Bonsal Annex. Yo, where were these rocks at when I needed rocks for my turtle tank before? I was stealing rocks. <laughs> I was hijacking rocks. You know, because turtles usually like rocks. Those were the perfect rocks to put in the turtle tank. All right, we're now approaching Jackson. Warsaw and Jackson. We're walking up Warsaw, southbound on Warsaw Street. Looks like that's a whole little PHA. I keep saying PHA like we in Philly. PHA is Philadelphia Housing Authority. I don't know what y'all got over here in Jersey for affordable housing. What's the affordable housing program called? But it looked like it could be some type of low income housing. All right, we're gonna keep on crossing, keep on walking. Cause I could go right back to Mount Ephraim to the main street, but I'll probably walk to Sheridan Street right here. And then I'll cut left, cross Mount Ephraim and just, we're like zigzag, see, you know, how much we can do within the short time given. This looks like one of the back blocks right off of Mount Ephraim. There was an alley over there. Look at all that housing over there looks relatively up to date. It's relatively new. That's like a religious piece right here on the corner. There's a little religious piece. Y'all want me to cross so y'all can see the religious piece? Ah, uh, somebody got a sign right here that says dog shit is a threat to the health of our children, degrades our town, transmit diseases. Clean, what does it say? Leash, curb, and clean up after your dog. It's required by law. That's funny, right? Look at this little um, religious item right here. Isn't that the, like the Virgin Mary with like the lambs and everything? Crazy. Now we're passing Colo Street. Colo. Got some Connecticut tags. There's a sign that said, which is welcome. That's funny. Oh, look, that somebody passed away here. There's a lot of um, beer bottles, um, wine bottles. Yeah, Remy Martin bottles. Usually they put those up. It was on my right-hand side, bottom side of the screen. There's a little basketball court right here. That's the hood basketball court. That's when you ain't got a basketball court. You take a crate and you put the crate up. <coughs> yeah, um, usually when somebody, you know, passes away in the hood, they put like a little memorial and they put like um, beer bottles. Like they basically drink one for them. They drink one and they leave it there for them just to like, rem you know, remember them. It's like memory, you know what I mean? In memory of. Yeah. It's a nice day out, so you're gonna see a lot of ambience, a lot of people out, hanging out, chilling, enjoying the life. Yeah. What's up, OG? Recording myself, talking, talking to the camera. I mean, taking a walk, enjoying the weather. Push start that jump, bro, bro. Bump, bump it on second and that jump pop right on. Yeah, push it and throw in a second and, 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 and if it don't start, it's your spark plug. Yeah, push start and always works. So if not, use like some starter fluid. Use like starter fluid. If, if, if it don't start with starter fluid, it's the spark plug. Stop trying. It's still right. We went from down to 14. We went from up to 7.
Yeah, I bump started my fair share of bikes before. Believe me, you'll you'll be surprised how a spark plug will start on a bike. Your bike won't start, and then once you put a spark plug in it, it starts right up. Got the Camden County Police right here on my left. It look like a female, female officer. We got an abandoned building right here on my right hand side. Listen, I'm gonna teach y'all a little trick so that y'all know if y'all ever, like if your car ever doesn't start, if your motorcycle doesn't start, if your scooter doesn't start, I'm gonna teach you a trick. You need three things in order to power a motor. You need spark, gas, and air. Spark comes from the spark plug, gas comes from the gas, air comes from the carburetor. Let's pass, um, we're passing Carl Miller Boulevard. You got like an alternator and starter spot across the street on my left hand side. And you got an Ohala chicken and tacos on my right hand side. I've never heard of Ohala a day in my life. This is my first time seeing this. And this looks like it's been here for a while. It's a taco spot. I smell chicken. Yeah, chicken and tacos. Five box, a five dollar box. Two piece biscuit and a side. Wow, I've never heard of this place in my life. And I've been here before. I just probably never paid attention to it. But um, yeah. So if you ever have trouble starting your vehicle, if you got spark, it's not your spark. Your spark plugs are good. If you hear your fuel pump on or you're getting gas, your peacock's on, it's not the gas. It might be your car. Like sometimes it could be something as simple as like a gasket. You could have a vacuum leak. You know what I mean? But the easy way that I like to do it, we got E-Laundry, Had and Me, Supermarket, Sabor Pueblo, Mad Dogs, and more. The easy way that I like to do it is bump start it. If he would have bump started, I was gonna ask him if he wanted to bump start it, but he said, all right, all right. Like he he probably he probably tried that, you know. So I didn't want to like put him on the spot, but if he would have needed help to bump start, I would have pushed him. Just roll it in neutral. Once you got enough speed, throw the second that jump, rang, it turns right on, it turns right on. Dude, we got a cemetery on my right hand side. Look at that. It's a cemetery. I'm gonna make this left hand turn right here. We're next to a bus stop, the 400 to Sicklersville. 453 to Ferry Avenue, Patco. So I'm gonna walk straight, I'm about to cross right here. Crossing Mount E from Ave, Decatur Street. Decatur, yeah, Decatur. We got Capital Academy. On um, my right hand side. Yeah. I see the roosters out. Oh, they got roosters. That's how you know you know when you got roosters. Chickens, roosters. They be just roaming the yard like with their cats and dogs. <laughs> we got that in Philly. We got chickens and roosters. Yes, sir. You got anybody trying to shout out on the can? You don't make music or nothing? Uh -huh. All right. I wish you two more. Tune two one five. T O O N two one five. All right, dog. Yeah, so.
starting to sweat. It's starting to get hot and the perspire, so. That's from walking, because before this, I did the North Camden walk. That was for an hour, and you start sweating and everything. What's up, Dougie? <laughs> Yeah, in the summer, I'm gonna be baking. When I, when I do these tours, I'm gonna be roasted. I'm gonna be sweating, 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 sweating. I already know it. Cause I'm sweating now and it's 70 degrees and y'all can't see it, but I'm shining. Yeah, I definitely got, I definitely got a glow. So hot. And if you stand still and you're not moving around, you don't really get that hot. But walking is like doing a workout. I'm definitely burning some calories. That's the plus side about the tours. The tours, you burn calories, <laughs> especially the walking ones. I don't make this left hand turn on Norris. We was just on Decatur and Norris. Now I'm on Norris. If you guys are new to the 360 experience, make sure to check out my page. I have a playlist with just 360 videos that I've shot thus far. A couple 360s. I'll continue doing 360 tours. I try to drop them at least once a week. At least, sometimes two times a week. Depends on what the week's looking like. If you have the VR glasses, you probably get the best experience because you don't got to hold your phone up. You don't got to move around. We're passing Norris and Carl Miller Boulevard. We just crossed Carl Miller Boulevard. Yeah, if you got the glasses, if you got the goggles, the goggles are your best bet. Goggles are your best bet. I still got to buy a set of goggles because I ain't got one. But I'm going to invest in them soon. So when I watch these these tours, I can just, you know, watch in VR. That's decent. Like if I'm real, really here walking and I'm looking around, you know what I mean? We got Central Food Market on my right hand side. Damn, there be no stop signs here. People be out, yo. People be out. In Philly, we got a stop sign at every corner almost, just about, despite some neighborhoods. Some neighborhoods probably don't have a stop sign, but mostly all neighborhoods in Philly got stop signs. Some red light, stop sign, something, a slow, a yield. Here, I've done been through several areas where there's no stop sign for both sides. It'll be just one side. The other side just be out and they'll never let you go by. You got to wait until it's really an empty slot to slide yourself in. Arm starts getting tired too. Holding up this stick. <laughs> Holding up this stick. We're on Jackson and Norris Street. I'm gonna let this vehicle go by. Probably gonna cut up here. Cut up Jackson. A lot of trash inside that yard. Trying to hold it to the side of me so y'all don't gotta just continue to look at my face. 
Because if I hold it to the center of me, you turn around, you just look at me. I'm not, you know, the center of attention here. We're looking at the neighborhood, but my arms, I gotta flex back and forth. And I do have a chest strap, but I don't want to wear the chest strap when I do the 360 because the chest strap stays in the middle of my chest and y'all only going to see, when y'all look be behind, you're going to see me. When y'all look left and right, y'all going to see my arms. Got a bunch of graffiti on my right. Abandoned buildings. A lot of abandoned buildings. I'm telling you, if I was a, mil a millionaire, if I was a millionaire and I had a lot of money to invest, and I can like, you know, pretty much buy anything at my disposal. I would come to like places like Camden and I would buy blocks. Cause them houses, they probably want 15, you know, 20,000 a house, 12,000 a house, 30,000 on the high end for like the ones that are vacant. Look at this, so many vacant ones on this block. I just passed like seven vacant ones. And then I would buy a whole block of vacant houses. The bad thing is it's taxes. You gotta pay annual taxes. And if you buy a couple blocks worth of houses, that's all annual taxes, unless you knock them down. But some of them look like they're in good shape. Operation safe and secure. It look like they closed that property up so people wouldn't go inside it and hang out in it. Yeah, some of them look like, look at there's another one. Operation safe and secure. Look at all these houses abandoned. One, two, three. That one got shutters. Yo, that one got shutters. They, they ain't not real, they're not functional, but it still got shutters. We got cops on my left. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. I'll make this right hand turn right here. I'm just zigzagging. This is good cardio though. Really good cardio. We're on Chase Street and Luis. We got time and place lounge on my left. It looks abandoned. It looks like a nice, um, nice what used to be like a corner store or a bar right here. Look at final demolition notice. Wow, so they're gonna demolish this, this building right here. Ain't that crazy? This building right here. Probably got structural damage. Wow, look right here. Look at all this trash on the ground. Another beautiful building. They're gonna demolish it. Somebody probably bought it though. But then again, a final demolition notice probably means that the owners never pay tax. Look at all this rubbish around it. That can become an eyesore to the community. If the owner never takes care of it, never pays the taxes on it, lets it fall apart, lets it deteriorate, that becomes a safety hazard. So that's probably why they put a notice on it. So if the owner, you know, doesn't know this about to happen. It's gonna happen. We got Great Town Deli on my right. We're now approaching Morton Street. We're walking northbound up Louis Street. I'm about to make this left hand turn. We're gonna go right back to the main avenue. I'm gonna flip the camera. Please forgive me, I'm gonna flip it in 360. One, two, I'm gonna slowly flip it. Flip it, flip it, and I'm gonna turn it this way. Ah. So now, y'all probably looking at me. That's probably not good, right? All right. <laughs> That's probably not good. But then again, if y'all don't wanna look at me, then you just turn all around me, and then you don't, you don't look at me no more. Yeah. Yeah, so, it's a nice day. Springtime is around the corner. It's gonna be hot every day. It's gonna be sunny. I'm looking forward to the sun to an extent. We had enough of the cold weather. The cold weather just, cold weather really been in the way. 
It's supposed to rain tomorrow though. It was supposed to rain today, but it ain't rain today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow though. Oh, we back where that discount store was at, the Banners discount store. For me, when I see Ban, I think of Bananas. But it's not Bananas, it's Banners. So, it's a discount store, like a variety store. I see wigs and all that stuff in the window. Yeah, looks like we are reaching our our time limit i probably cross the street here there's a bicyclist right here yeah you hear the car systems and everything Oh, there's an airbrush spot. We passed an airbrush spot. The airbrush spot. They literally call it the airbrush spot. Yo, I didn't even know it was called the airbrush spot. I just said, look, there's an airbrush spot. And boom. It was actually called the airbrush spot. We're passing Thurman. Barbershop on my right, you got Gyro King, you got that clothing boutique was called Day Bat. I could swear we got a Day Bat in Philly, maybe there is, and he probably owns both of them. Look at this chick coming up. cops are back inside their vehicle all right ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching i appreciate everyone's support my arms are kind of flexy flexy right now i appreciate everybody watching this is a little short tour 360 virtual immersive tour of some of the camden area we didn't cover all the camden we didn't cover all of this area we just briefly walked through a couple blocks People have been asking me in the past to cover Camden. Let's do some of Camden. So I decided to do a little bit of Camden today. With that being said, if you're new to the channel, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is released on this channel. If you don't turn on your notification bell, you won't get notified. Next to the name Tune215, there's a bell. Click that bell icon and then select all it's going to give you an option to personalize your notifications select all so every time i drop a video you get notified please comment share your thoughts share your memories share your knowledge share your history of the area comment in the comment section so other viewers across the world wide web who watch these videos from the other side of the globe can engage with you read your comments comment back to you you guys can talk amongst each other and you can school them on what it's like living in camden with that being said, check out my other Camden tours. I just did a walking tour in 4K in Camden. This is also in 4K too, but the other walking tour is in 360. And then I also did a driving tour in East Camden. I covered a little bit of East Camden. So, this is your homeboy Tune. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. Share this on any social network. Share it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Send it to somebody in a text message. Just copy that link and paste it anywhere. There's Tune, Mr. Tune Dollars, Tune Ski, Tune One, Tunism, Bad Tune, Tuner, Tunage, Tuny Cali Fragilistic Expialidocious, and I'm tuning out.